Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. You know how they say when you give a speech, you should lead off with a joke? Well, I'm going to lead off today's video with a joke. And this joke came by way of email. And I'm just going to read it as written. You can modify it if you want to. If you come up with something better or different, comment down below. Let me know. I'd like to see it. Anyway, here it is. It came from Chris O. And it says, shaving joke. You know what the barber told Colonel Conk? I'm just going to badger you for a minute. And then it says, badger tail, shave brushes, joke. So what do you think? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Good? Bad? Comment down below. <laughs> I'd like to know what you think of it. It's kind of corny, but hey, you know, it's all right. Okay, that's the joke. Let's get to the video. I received this email. I thought it was pretty cool. Good idea. So I thought I would share it with you. I've always talked about how I feel that badger brushes retain moisture or water better than synthetic. And, I mean, in my experience, that seems to be the way it is. I thought it was pretty interesting. Well worth a topic of a video. So let's do it. I'll read it to you. It says, To Geo Fat Boy, I enjoy your videos and would like to suggest a topic. Pick some brushes, badger, bore, and synthetic of a similar size and weigh them soak them, and weigh them again to see how much water each holds. And this came from John. Great idea, right? Since I've been saying for a long time that badger brushes retain the moisture better than synthetic, uh, let's prove it out or let's see if I'm wrong. Also, I think the synthetic brushes have come a long way, so maybe they're even better now. Maybe they will retain more moisture, more water. Let's see. Let's do a little comparison here. I've got all these brushes, a good smattering of different types of brushes, some bore, some synthetic, some badger, and we're just going to try a few, and we'll see if, once dipped in this glass of water right here, if they weigh more than they did before they were dipped. So let's start with, we'll start with the smaller ones. It'll be interesting to see. I'll put all these over here. Okay, those are badger, badger, synthetic. Bore, bore. This is from my previous video where I demonstrated how to fix your gnarly shaving brush in about 10 seconds by doing this right here. You can check out the video. I'll put a link up there so you can see it. But watch how well I had bristles sticking out in different directions, like a you know cat's whiskers. Check it. See, all the bristles now are straight up, and even the knot is tighter. So you can try it. Check out my video and you'll see it. Pretty simple. It's just a rubber band. That's all you need. Okay, so bore. Let's see. Bore and bore. Badger. Synthetic. 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 Badger. Synthetic. You can, you can sometimes tell by the smell. Synthetic. Okay, so I've got two bores, four badgers, and five synthetics. We'll try them out. All right, let's do it. Here is the first one. This is a Simpsons Case Best Badger brush right here. Case Best Badger. First, we'll weigh it. First, let's zero out the scale. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Let it reboot. Zero it out. Once it goes to zero, we know we're good. So here's the case, best badger, 1.5 ounces, let's soak it in the water, just give it a good soaking, a couple shakes, get rid of that water, let's see what we got, 1.7, so it's holding 0.2 ounces of water in the knot. Alright, we'll get that one off to the side. So that's Badger. We'll stick with Badger. Here is a Chubby One Super Badger brush right here. Let's try that. This is actually the one that I used in the the red, uh, how did the shaving brush turn red video. I'll also put a link up there. You can check that out. The red is starting to fade. It's just a slight pink now. So let's check this one. 2.0 ounces on this one. Again, the Chubby One Super Badger. 
give it a soak wet those bristles sometimes you can even feel they get a little bit heavier once you wet them give it shakes just to remove that the drips let's see what we got 2.1 so that just held a little bit not that much oh went back down to two it's interesting let's try it again see if dipping it a little bit longer makes it better makes it retain more maybe I didn't leave it in there long enough here we go here we have 2.1 ounces so it's holding a little bit let's try another this one I'm really interested to try this is a chubby 2 super badger brush right here let's see what this weighs it's a pretty heavy brush three ounces exactly let's try this saturate this bad boy give it a good soak and I'm sure that if you let it soak in here for a couple minutes like I normally do before a shave then you're gonna feel a difference for sure I can tell you right now this is soaking up a lot of water because I can feel it's a lot heavier and just pulling it out of the water it felt like there's more weight or kind of a suction when pulling it out of the water so let's see this 3.5 so that's holding 0.5 ounces of water that's a half an ounce of water that's pretty good right there so the chubby super badger it's retaining a lot of moisture let's try a couple bore brushes now this is an Omega bore brush just a standard bore brush let's weigh it 1.5 ounces I feel like this will hold a little bit of moisture just give it a few dips let it soak it up one point seven so it's holding a little bit of water as well so that's a bore brush here's the Parasso Omega bore brush let's try that one dry 2.3 ounces let's soak it just give it a couple dips okay let's see what we got here give it a couple shakes 2.7 2.7 ounces so this also is holding some moisture those are the bore right there let's bring these back so you can see them a little bit better all right here's another one here's the shave nation zebra brush with a nice big handle so you don't get shaving cream on your fingers when you're lathering up you can hold it back here let's see what this weighs 3.1 ounces let's give it a soaking this is actually a badger brush so I'm going back to the badger on this one this also I can tell like it's really soaking up the water you can just feel it when you drop it in and take it out it's kind of like a, even a suction when you're pulling it out of the water it holds a lot of moisture 3.5 so that's holding some water as well let's set that off to the side I'm just gonna put it over there you can still see that all right now let's try some synthetic brushes here we have the Rockwell synthetic brush right here let's try that two ounces exactly let's soak it give it a good soaking you can see what happens when these synthetic brushes get saturated they splay out like that like here's the badger brush nice tight dense knot but the synthetic ones that's what happens they splay out and separate the badger doesn't do that 2.2 ounces also holding a little bit of moisture right there here's a shave nation black synthetic brush right here let's try this 2.7 ounces let's give it a good soaking
See how it separates? Got a little hole in the middle like a divot. Let's see that. 3.1 ounce. So that's holding some water. Shave Nation Black Synthetic Brush. All right, let's try this. This is the fine. This is a fine shaving brush. I think this is the stout brush. Let's try that. 2.4. Give it a good soaking. Again, you could see it separating out like that. Three point one. Interesting. <laughs> it seems like the synthetics are holding more water, right? That's crazy. Three point one. Three. Okay. Let's try the. Oh, here we go. Simpsons Trafalgar T two. Very popular shaving brush. Fantastic synthetic brush. It's got a nice soft knot. These are among my favorite synthetic brushes right here. Let's try this. 2.3. Let's dip it. It does get heavier. Prove myself wrong here, I think. Let's give it a shake. Get rid of that water. That's what it looks like when it's saturated. They do spread out. 2.8, also holding some moisture as well. All right, let's try the final, the Simpsons T3, Trafalgar T3 shaving brush. Also nice, beautiful looking knot, nice and soft. Let's weigh this synthetic brush. Three ounces exactly. Let's saturate it. My cup of water is nearly empty. So all of these brushes soaked up an entire cup of water almost. Rather than refill, I'm just gonna dip it down a little bit. Just give it a good soak. Got about a half an inch of water left in the cup. That's what it looks like. 3.7, so that's holding a lot of moisture as well. Very interesting. So what's strange to me is what happens is when I lather up, like I'll take this badger brush and I'll soak it, give it a couple shakes, and then when I dip it in the soap or cream, start swirling and go to apply lather to my face, there is no runoff, no spillage, no, no spraying out of water. It just holds it. But when I do the same thing with the synthetic brush, once you go and start lathering up, see that? The water comes out like that. So, you know, it, it gets heavier, but it's not really retaining that moisture. Watch this. Here's the synthetic. Only a little bit comes out, just the first, the first good shake I give it. But it seems that the synthetics, look at, more water comes out. They're holding a lot more water, but a lot of water sprays out when you go to mix your lather, which is interesting. I don't know if that's good or bad. You tell me. <laughs> you scientists and engineers out there, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I still feel, for mixing lather, I just feel more comfortable with the badger brush as far as water retention and you don't get that water and that cream just splaying out all over the place as you do with the synthetic. You start swirling and then you go to your face to lather up, to apply the lather, that zen moment, and you got you know little sprays of shaving cream flying off, man down here, man down there. You don't get that as much with the badger, but you do with the synthetic. But it did seem that the synthetics actually held on to more water, but once you shake them, Look at even even now, still a lot of water coming out of it. So there you go. I guess I blew my theory away. I'll say this, the the water that's retained in the badger brush seems like it gets locked in the brush. The water that is retained in the synthetic brush seems like it's not really locked in. You can shake it out very easily. So that's something to consider on your next purchase of your brush. Let's try the bore brush. A little bit on the bore, a little bit, not as much as the synthetic. The bore and the badger are about the same. 
nothing coming out of this one now. This is the uh, chubby one. The first one or two shakes you get a little bit. We'll go back even to this T3 again. Still got water coming out of it. There you go. That's our comparison between bore, badger, and synthetic brushes. It seems to me as a result of this experiment, I discovered that the synthetic brushes may soak up more water and weigh more. And then when you go to lather, they spray out more water. The badger brushes may not soak up as much water, but when you go to lather, they retain it. They don't spray it out. They don't spray out the lather. They don't spray out the water as the synthetics do. Same thing with the bore. The bore brushes, similar to the badger. They will retain the water and hold on to it and not spray it out as much when you go and mix your lather. So those are my thoughts. If you have some interesting thoughts on it, I'd love to hear about it. Please comment down below. And if you want to pick up any of these brushes or other brushes, we have a lot of them. Click down below the video where it says more or show more. You can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com. Enter what you need in the search box and they'll pop right up. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Over 500 videos, shaving and more. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.